What's up, Prop Mob? Eduardo Talbert here. Today we are making these eyes. Welcome to Monster Tutorials. I am Eduardo. In this year of Monster Tutorials, we will feature my assistants, Finn, Susie, and Luna. Monster Tutorials is made possible by our patrons. So thank you patrons, please consider visiting. We're making the realistic eyes for the leather face mask, which I'm turning into a bust in future videos. So let's get started with these eyes. They're still not attached, so they don't look that good. I'll show you later what it looks like, but let's get started. I've made many uh, tutorials on how to make eyes. But let's recap basically what I did so that uh, we can pick up from there. So I'm going to link the videos, the full videos for the eyes below. So this one we're going to start about halfway through the process. So what I did is I had some steel balls like these and I put them on a bed of clay. Then I put a wall, then I put some silicone on top of it and uh, that became the mold. Then I took two part epoxy, uh, two part uh, resin, white resin from Alumilite and uh, cast a bunch of uh, little uh, semi-spheres, right? So we're going to start with these, okay? So the first step is going to be there's some uh, uh, sandpaper. We're going to sand a flat spot on the front. I use a little bit of water here just to help with the sanding. And I'm gonna keep it as straight as possible. Right, so that, let me see here. Yep, that's about one centimeter. So I put the mark there and I'm using these calipers. These have come super handy and I found them at a great price. When it comes, a kit comes with a bunch of measuring things and this is awesome for these tutorials. Uh, I'll put a link below if you're interested. And these guys are done. I'm going to drill a hole here. I'm using some uh, dollar store nail polish, which is like a dollar, obviously. And we're going to put a drop inside of each of these uh, pupils. I'm just letting it go all the way up the side. Now while that is drying, I want to introduce you to my new uh, studio assistant. You guys already know Finn. And now, I present to you Susie. Well, like I said, I want this to be like a evil black dark eyes, right? And they're going to be glazed on top anyway. So I'm using a Sharpie. So I took this blue Sharpie and I just drew a tiny little edge around the, around the black iris, right? So I uh, have two pieces of like bamboo skewer and I kind of drilled a little bit of a hole on the back of each eye with a good chunk of hot glue and I have a little piece of red yarn right here and we're going to use that to make the veins. Another thing I'm going to do is just cover this whole area with the clear uh, epoxy just to seal the iris and the pupil in there. I'm using the disposable brush and just uh, painting it all around. Just I just want to encapsulate that iris and the pupil too. Just fill it up. So that's that. And now let's get some of this here on the sides and let's get the, the veins. That just lay them on top, push them in. We're going to cut the excess down here later. That looks pretty good. Set that aside. And do the same with the other eye. The other thing I want to do is do a cornea that is a little bit milky, but not too much. So again, I'm using the five-minute epoxy, equal parts, but also I'm adding a tiny little drop of this airbrush color, right? And this is transparent white. There you go. That might be a little too opaque, but it's gonna look super cool. So mix it real well. 
Now with a disposable brush, we're going to apply it to the cornea area of the eye. Just on top, as you can see, it has a, a milky color. And just push it where you want it to thin it out. There you go. Now let's do this one. That looks great. So the eyes are going to look something like this. Now while these dry, I'm going to prepare a little bit of a, of a glaze to put on the white area so that it's not all white. Instead it looks like more human, which would be a little bit yellowish. Or if it's sick, then you, would, you could make it red or even like brown to make it look even worse. In this case, I am using brown. This is like a airbrush uh, color, yellow food coloring. It's also like alcohol based and some 91% rubbing alcohol. Drop of yellow right here, a little brown, it's tiny, tiny. I'm going to use a toothpick so that we can like, mix this with the alcohol to get to the tone we want, right? So this is turning yellow, just slightly yellow. It's a little too clean, so maybe we can get a touch of brown. We're just going to take a cotton swab and dab this all around that uh, the white part, right? And that starts. It's very subtle, but it works awesome. Use your finger to pat it so it kind of blends in with the white. Occasionally you can get a little bit of brown, tiny, don't overdo it, less is more. See that? Now it looks more organic, right? A little scarier than this one. Nice, so this one's a little too yellow, so we can add a little, little more brown. I think that is looking great. For the next step, so I'm using two-part epoxy and this is from Alumilite and uh, I would recommend them because it's the only one that I've used and it's worked for me every time so there are links below if you're interested in this one this epoxy uh, I pour them in these little cups A and B because they're easier to measure right and this is used at a one-to-one -one ratio as well 1.2 I think that looks like Quite a bit there. 1.2. All right. Now I have my uh, mold and I've cleaned it. As you can see, it's nice and clean inside. And we're going to put just a little bit of uh, of resin in each one. I'm taking this and I'm putting some on the eye to squeeze out the air. You can just divide the rest of this in these just in equal parts. Now this you're supposed to be able to demold it in about four hours but the true cure uh, won't be for another while so I'm going to leave it overnight. I'm going to take the eye and we're going to very carefully put it sideways so that no bubbles get trapped right there. So there turn it around same thing That looks fantastic. I will see you tomorrow. We did this last night, so let's demold it. Oh man, that is wonderful. Look at that shine. All right. One thing we're going to do after this sets all the way is cut all this off. So you can see the, the veins, how they become so realistic and flat here. You can see that the veins are perfectly encapsulated inside of the of the clear uh, resin, right? So I hope you enjoyed the eyes tutorial. I want to thank all of you for watching and all of the patrons that make this channel possible. Thank you very much, and. And I wanted to thank Jean, who sent this little winter jacket here for Susie from my Amazon wish list, which is linked below. Thank you so much. She looks awesome. She's never cold outside. 
she doesn't even shake when we go for a walk. So hey, thank you, thank you. So remember, this is Monster Tutorials, you, me, we're all the prop mob. I will see you on the next video. I hope you have an awesome day. See ya.